Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? Versus Elise, Elysium. Mm, I was thinking if I want to go to Trinity Sterox here, but I need Stride Breaker this game to exist. Are they invading me? <clears throat> so I'm probably going to go to Trinity Stride. It's the issue. <laughs> I just don't really have opportunity to not do that. I don't want to walk over there, to be honest. Um, I think maybe them showing up is going to spook them enough. Yeah, they're not on it, then they just probably watered that. Yeah, but I was thinking about it. I'm like, there's just no way that I could... There is a way where I could pull it off, but... Well, let's see. Let's see. Let's see how I feel after the first clear. Oh, I fucked something up here. Am I clear? That was annoying. They have three melee champions technically if you count the least. Which plays more like a ranged champion. In all reality this should be a... Should be a Trinity Force and Stride Break instead of Standard Udia. Standard Udia is Trinity Force, Sterox DMP. Has been like for a while now. <coughs> Actually. I do not know why I'm clearing so weirdly right now. Like an ant, right? I can't get the bot side grab. Why don't you just cook some like that? They're pretty low now, but... Ah, uh, sad. Don't have smile. That was a pretty good gank by Elise, I guess. 13 CS. She still has camps up, but I kind of don't want to commit for them. He's gonna Q. Q the minion. I want him to use his. No, he lives. Mm, okay. Well. <coughs> no, bro, I can't. I'm so sorry. Like, I can't. I want to get my double crab. Also, I get the gang opportunity top. In reality, I guess for Kassadin, it kind of does suck, but... So, I have not played against this champion a lot, actually. Okay, he fucked up there, of course. <clears throat> I have no reason to give Elise anything. Yeah, I, I, I grieved Kassadin. Okay, guys. I grieved, but I got more out of it, if that makes sense. Right, because Kazudin had to push the wave there, but... To, for his laning phase, which is pretty important for our game overall. But then, like, on the flip side, I got, like, so much topside, then... It's almost kind of okay. We got topside flash, too. There's no fight bot lane right now. I can just go top side again and kill him if I keep my passive. Most likely I can. I mean, I just want to get fat. I don't gank top lane again to get fat my time, but I go top because I want to get fat myself. Holy shit, how are we playing this right now, time? I do not know if I kill him here. 
Never mind, he kind of just does nothing. We can push this. <clears throat> Gonna lose Dragon, most likely. But... Could be chill, bro. Oh, what the fuck am I doing? I didn't mean to click. Oh, now I might lose Grubbies too, because I did that. That's fairly annoying. I would say we can start with Trinity Force here. It's not bad. I grieved by walking. I'm so sad. Um, we might go for the standard, actually. I'm not sure. Hmm. We kill Vladimir, then we lose Grubs, definitely. No, do not know why they didn't just trade getting a Grub for... Why did they not just get a Grub? I don't understand, like, what's the point of, like, doing that? And just walking up for, like, Vladimir that's already dead. Last episode, we found out that you can actually farm your overgrowth on the little spawns they have, which is an interesting mechanic. <laughs> kind of seems not intended. If you really think about it. It's just a top robot. I, I don't think there's a huge point in invading there, by the way. Um, best case scenario, I damage her a little bit, but I fuck up my own tempo. It's just, that's the sad reality of invading on Odea. Like, you scale so hard into the mid game that there's almost no point in, like, going into her jungle and taking her one camp, and then all your camps are just up for her. It's just, like, it's just not good, you know. It's just very, very not good. That's just how jungling works now. This is the time where like, yeah, we could go top and get another kill, right? Because Skarner just does the I don't give a shit. Reina mentality, I get ganked so often, I'm just not gonna care anymore. But in all reality, it's not worth that much and... But can, can you explain to me how my pet didn't kill them there? Like, they were like 1 HP and my pet just did not damage them. That is crazy. But yeah, again, my CSing and getting my camps and my XP is kind of more important than anything else right now. Are they walking here? I think I need help. I think I saw her walk here, but I guess not. Look at this, like how are the wolves just like alive for that long? I do not understand it. I think I'm good here. I got my Trinity Force. Actually. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna try. Might be very terrible, but... Good. They, mm, I, I don't know, I think the enemy team played it pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie. They played it way too safe. I think if they turned on me, okay, to be fair, at least just goofed her. E, I guess. But I truly believe if they turned on me there, it would have been pretty rough for me. You know what, guys, let's go standard, oh dear. We have Swifts, we have... Actually, we should have went Mercs. Ah, oh, no, 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 we don't, because... Right, that's why I don't go Mercs, because I get tenacity from my... Stoic Gage. Oof, that's rough, brother. It do be rough. He is fine to take, because... Elise is just wasting her time bot side. It actually helps me you now. It's a level 8. So it's like up to par with my cams. The 
thing is, he's just gonna walk out. Can't do anything about it. Just gotta kill him. For zero? Like, why is he even there? <laughs> just walk out, bro. Now he was one of the grubbies. Oh, I mean, one of either the grubs or whatever. I can kill him here. <laughs> I wish I could just like do it without him even like being in the fight because it would make it significantly easier for me. So it's two drakes versus both grub spawns. But yeah, I mean Kasudin should have just backed off there in all reality. It's okay though. I guess him not getting the push in the early game actually did do a lot to his game. Man, I wish I was AP. Okay, no, I, went. I thought he's gonna walk up. Uh, I should have went to her blue buff. To be honest. But we are committed to this play now. Never half as a play. It's usually better to just either or. Also, why does he go malignant if he's losing lane? Like, play for mid game. Not for early game. You're not gonna kill him 1v1, most likely. You're already dying 1v1 before anything is even happening. Well, maybe he is, I guess. I don't know. It's not doing too bad. Might be a must, I don't know. It seems like top lane and jungle are coming. I don't know, I'm gonna stay on the map then. <laughs> That's hilarious. I even got the ISO pop, bro. I even got the ISO pop. Because she didn't have her little spiders up. She got stunned QQ'd. What she flash? I don't even know. Unlucky. Don't really get anything for that, though. Gonna go be fortunately this build is gonna be much weaker next patch. Because they're killing bruiser items. Why? For fun. Now oh, he's actually pushing for it. Let me actually walk like between my red buff and mid lane. See what play is available. But me has nothing up. He can just kill. Cassidy is gonna hate me for this, but I literally had to like think then in my head, what top lane did they have? <laughs> Was it the Mundo? I didn't even remember anymore. Bro, playing League of Legends after like 10 years of playing League is actually kind of wild. I was like thinking, is there like a champion that could like bust me and kill me? I, I don't remember what champion I play against that's up. I'm Joe Biden gaming. It's 
So Sterics is going to be 100 gold more expensive and the cooldown on the shield is going to be 30 percent in uh, 30 seconds increase how crazy is that by the way of enough i think that's a bit little bit harsh for enough bro i'm not gonna lie Narnia. yeah <coughs> Bro, I feel like all my League of Legends gameplays just come to like a peak in playing AD Udi. Like everything I've ever done, all the things I've ever learned, all come together to just play AD Udi. All my 10 years of experience. It's even gotten that bad that I almost know when I'm allowed to end at what stage of the game. And I just do it. If they're pushing with, then I'm gonna take this. I'm kind of trolling. Hmm. She eat that? Cringe. You know what? Let's not talk about the plant. Let's not talk about the plant, boys. At least it's just the luckiest motherfucker in the game. I swear to god. Let him cook. I mean, I trust in my top runner. This is called to trust, guys. Yes, I see the Elise here. No, I don't care. Oh, he loses that. No, I'm not gonna give him my bot side camps for zero. No, thank you, Buckle. Whatever you're doing in my jungle right now, you're not permitted. Not no tenacity does to a motherfucker. <laughs> nah, bro. You're a wild one. Tomkinch doesn't give no sheet. Homie is going in. He doesn't give no she. Casadino is coming. Bro, what is this game? This literally feels like a silver lobby. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. This literally feels like a silver lobby. But it's just uh, season 14 master, baby. Just perma. Felix is pissed chilling mid lane. Not even his, like, I'm not even saying that's bad. I think we, us fighting, that just randomly is horrible. Ah, he trolled though. There was, like, nothing for him to even really do, but I guess he got the, the turret. It's okay. Nah, no, spawning. I'm pretty tanky, but I just don't want to, like, walk in. Do nothing. Uh, they're definitely on it, but not as 5 and not full HP. I'm pretty tank. I could just zoot there real quick and see. Still half HP. They have to stop it. Stop it! Stop it, bro. 
honestly as you can see like going this build is still a complete cook y'all like going for like the standard odia is still super good it's a more tanky variant like i just think that um going for the trinity for stride breaker is a little bit stronger overall as a build but i mean this is this build is never going to be weak on Odia. It's probably impossible to be weak on Odia unless they rework him. Or unless they rework all these items. Unless they nerf the shit out of Sterox Gauge for fun. Of course. Which, still, this build is going to be viable. Just a little bit stupidly nerfed. I don't even think Sterox Gauge is that big of an issue. Like, to begin with, bro. Nice. Trusting in my team. Maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't, guys. Yeah, hey, they're all gonna die. Bloody me with the fucking... Yeah, mine. Almost. Close, bro. But I'm also gonna be an absolute menace this game, so I don't actually really care. I'm just so strong. <clears throat> I am just so strong, bro. It doesn't even matter anymore to me. I mean, I don't even mind just going in here, bro. See, I mean, like, I... I just understand the rhythm, bro. The rhythm of my champion. The rhythm of the night. I understand the vibration of Odia. Jump me. Okay, Tom Kench, you're a fucking war hero, bro. Honestly. Medal of Honor for this guy. I think Force of Nature is slightly better here. I'm so tanky with this build. But I don't know even how to explain it. Like, I feel so smooth playing AD Audio compared to anything else in League of Legends. I think it's just my mastery with this specific thing. I have honed this specific thing so much that, like, now I just feel super, like, smooth. I almost, like, know without reading patch notes if I can survive a situation or not. Usually, if I troll, I troll, of course, but... Mm, not good. Shot this fool. No, oh, he's much tankier than something like a Mundo. Like a much, much tankier, actually. That's surprising. With this type of build, I would think he's just gonna be one shot, but he's not. So now I'm just kind of OP on the map. Super fast, super tanky, super high damage, super everything. Slow resist, everything. Let's have my shield. Don't count that shit out, guys. Still have 1.2k HP in my pocket. Oh, 
Nice. Nice, so... I think that makes 100 LP. Right now. Yep, I think it does. I'm not sure. Mm. Honestly, this guy is a kind, kind of a goat because I ganked him and he didn't take every kill. Like, he understood that he's the Robin and I'm the Batman, so. He gets uh, an honor for that. 28k damage, not bad. 46k to objectives, that's always like a huge indicator how the game goes in my opinion. We have 33k damage mitigated. This guy, kind of a goat, but this guy also kind of a goat. And then damage taken, I mean, these are the two big boys I'm getting sandwiched by. Holy sus. Anyways guys, um, if you like this video, give it a like. Subscribing would be very much appreciated. Join the new Discord server, smiley face, and see you guys on the next one. Peace.